Hi viewers, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a grid view in Android Studio. It is very easy to learn and simple to implement. Now without wasting any time, let's go to the video. Welcome back again. Let's start with creating a new project. Choose empty activity and click next. Now you can name your project. I'm going to give grid view demo. Click finish. If you want to change, you can change minimum SDK version. I'm going to choose API 20 then click finish let's wait a while let the project completely synchronized ok it is synchronized completely Let's open Gradle scripts, build a Gradle and now we are going to use two implementation on the go to the last row click enter then you can paste this code it is grid layout and card view then click sync now let the project synchronized successfully ok project is synchronized now let's go to the activity main xml under the resource directory on the top right corner you can change it to split view from the design view now you can see both the design and code ok so i am going to change the constraint layout to relative layout by default there will be a text view I'm just deleting it now we can start creating grid view for that one you can just type grid view now you can see two grid layout so I'm going to choose android x dot grid layout dot widget dot grid layout ok now you can choose a layout width and layout height I am going with a layout width wrap content sorry match parent and layout height I am going to choose wrap content before closing the grid layout we have to define the id we need an android id so I am choosing android id I am choosing grid view just give a name grid view demo ok now we can choose uh, padding padding space and give 14 dp and alignment mode alignment mode uh, will be align margin and now you can choose column order preserve and keeping it false now this is the time to declare our grid view column column and row count so I am giving column count the 2 I need 2 column and row count will be 4 so 4 by 2 grid view I am just closing the grid layout now inside the grid layout we can define card view before that see the height I am going to change the layout height to match parent see now you can see the design it is fit to the design view now so inside the grid layout I am going to choose card view here you can see android x dot card view dot widget dot card view 
and again we need layout height and layout width you can choose wrap content layout width also wrap content Just close the card view and inside the card view here you can put either text view or image view or what are the things you want. So I am choosing text view and also we can use the text view for the image as well. So I am going with text view only instead of using text view and image view and uh, test view layout width will be wrap content layout height also i'm keeping wrap content and now we can choose the string or text what is the text so you can create a string file or you can manually type here for the demonstration i'm choosing app name and uh, then we can choose layout gravity will be in the center so i need the text will be on display on the center and text alignment also center text color again you can if you want to change a different color you can put the hex value here i'm going with black now uh, for the time being I am closing the text view so we don't have any image so I am copying one image for the grid view we need to image right so then copying the image under the drawable directory we need to paste the image here either you can directly paste here or you can do show showing explorer so okay i'm clicking this one the explorer option now it will direct you in the directory you can paste it there okay i'm pasting on the both drawable directories and you can close come back to our xml file so you can see the image here under the drawable come back to main xml now inside the text view we need to create one image attribute for that one I am choosing drawable top now you can point our image file it is under drawable file name there now you can see the image there so image and text is ready so there is one warning showing use app drawable combat okay instead of android we can change it to app after the drawable top just please click combat okay combat the this is a mistake okay so the warning is gone now you can see our first grid is ready okay image and text are also ready So for the clear visibility we can change the background. So I am giving a color code WWC for the demonstration. Now you can see the first grid. Okay. If you want to align margin, you can choose go inside the card view and type margin bottom I am keeping 20 dp and margin margin right side also 20 dp and margin start keeping 20 dp okay and uh, 
the right side here is one warning you can change the margin right to margin end the warning is disappeared let's move ahead and corner radius up cut the corner radius i'm keeping 15 dp it's nothing but the see the corner will be little curve that is it See without corner, uh, corner radius and with corner radius there is a difference in the corner. Now we can copy this card view and before pasting let's comment for the reference so it will be easy in future. So we need four column right? Four, sorry, four rows and two columns. This will be our first row and first column. So we are ready with the first first column in the first row. And now we are going to create second column. Okay, just after paste it. See now we are ready with the second column. Here you can change your string what is the text you want to appear there and image if you have another image you can point here so i'm going with one image only for this demonstration so if you have many images you can use here go to the string xml file under the values directory so let's create some string for our upcoming grids I am creating string name, I am keeping name demo1 and value demo1. I am copying this for uh, easy purpose. I am creating some string files demo124 and value also demo124. And come back to our main XML file. Now we, we can change the string here demo2. So the name is changed and first grid demo1. So you can see the demo text is changed. You can change the same way image as well. Now you can completely copy the ender row card view see if run copy the grid layout from the card view okay and you can paste it see now we are created pro 2 you can just rename it and you can change the string value and image name as well so if you have more images you can use it here Again, let's go back to our string, create some more string. So, I am replicating with the, this one only. So, I am creating basically 8 strings demo 1 to demo 8. So, we need 8 strings here. So, let's go back to our XML file copy again the second row and paste change the row to 3 and again you can change the string value demo 5 and string here as well demo 6 again you can paste one more so we need 4 rows right so our 4th row is also ready and just keep changing the text value and in your case you have to change the image as well okay so our grid design is ready now we have to create some coding go to the java main activity.java file so here we have to use some coding then only the clicking time should work. So 
so let's define let's initialize the grid layout grid layout grid layout you have to choose android x dot grid layout dot widget don't choose the first one okay if you choose the first one app uh, may be crashed because we used the second one and give a name grid layout Okay, inside the you can point grid layout is equal to find view by id r dot id dot grid view demo. The grid view demo, I think that is we give the name right. So let's check it again. Go back to activity main XML. Set the grid layout id name grid view demo. Yes, it's correct. Come back to main activity. Java file. Now let's create a function. Very easy and simple. Private void set grid. Sorry, set single event. Set single event and inside the parenthesis you can use grid layout and grid layout and you can open and close the curly bracket and instead we can use one for loop for set the bracket in i semicolon i less than grid layout dot Basically, we need to know how many grids are there. So, get child count. It will get give you the grid count. And semicolon i plus plus. Again, insert the for loop. You can declare one card view card view is card view card view card view equal to insert the bracket again card view grid layout dot get child at we need to fetch the value child at bracket i so we will get the child index at, at the ith position okay here sorry we forgot to initialize the i i is equal to 0 instead of follow now we can initialize one integer value final in index value index value is equal to i again now we can create card view dot set on click listener set on click listener and set new new view on click listener so actually insert this on click view this is the area we have to code actually what we want to perform while clicking single grid view so for this demonstration I am going to show you toast when you click a single any grid view a toast message you can see. So 
so let's define a trust choose trust main activity dot this and save the text I'm going to give you click add plus index value so it will display you on which index value grid you have clicked that's it now we have created our function now we have to call the function we didn't use the function so inside the main area we can call this function set single event inside the parenthesis give grid layout okay now we have completely done our coding part now let's run our app using simulator our app is running let's wait sometimes Gradle finished, zero error. Okay, app is coming now. Okay, our grid view is ready. See, we can see only three rows. Fourth rows we are not able to see, right? And we have to use scroll view here. So let's check our uh, grid view is working. Click. Yes, it's showing you click that index 0 and demo 2, you click that index 1, index 2, again click that 3. Okay, our coding is working. Everything is working fine. Only the fourth row we are not able to see. Let's come back to our activity main XML. And here we can create one scroll view just under the relative layout. You can choose, you can create one scroll view. And layout width match parent, layout height also match parent. And now you simply close the grid view. Okay, and now copy the closing tab and go down just after the grid layout or just before closing the grid relative layout, paste it. Now you can see two warning is showing here. So, so recommending, recommending us to change change the grid layout 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 height to prop content from the match parent. So I change it. Again showing scroll view layout or uh, depend is yes the parent is useless. So we can we don't need the relative layout here. Just copy the scroll view, replace the relative layout and delete this scroll view. So basically we need only scroll view main and so far it's good. Okay, close, delete the relative layout closing tab as well. It's okay. So far, so good. Let's run our project again and let's see how it look like. Okay, let's wait a while. This. 
so I, I hope you understood and thank you very much please do comment and subscribe thank you